So Modern Rocks, you used a video from the BBC and added your own commentary to it to give your opinions on uh, the things that it was saying. This video was on uh, dinosaurs or on their habits. It, it was, uh, I believe, off a program called Walking with Dinosaurs. And you, I'm assuming you did this with a, another video which you entitled Brachiosaurus is Behemoth, which was blocked by NBC Universal uh, for copyright. I, I'm guessing it's because they disliked having their video commented over. Uh, effectively you're mirroring it but adding your own little bits here and there which they probably didn't agree with and so didn't want to have their name attached to it. So you made this video and from what I gathered the, the vast majority of your uh, problem with it was the fact that you say that all they found was bones and how could they figure all these things out about the life of these dinosaurs just from bones. Uh, my first uh, comment on that would be that it's a dramatization. That these things did not actually happen as they are shown. They, they don't even know the skin color of the dinosaurs. They, they don't know whether this exact situation happened. It may very well have done. Uh, this pattern of events could have occurred and been recorded in footprints. Uh, which were fossilized. Uh, from the bone perspective, it's it's not really bone. It's actually worse than having bone because it's it's fossilized. It's the the actual bone structure is replaced with minerals, which uh, are not bone. They're, they're not organic in any way. It the shape uh, on a molecular level is conserved well at least on a microscopic level it's all conserved but the actual bone itself is it's not a bone it's a fossil a lot of these things they can uh, find out though through uh, gathering large samples of fossils uh, the vast majority are never complete I think the uh, most complete Diplodocus uh, fossil which was found in 2009 after this video was made uh, was 80 to 90 percent complete so uh, it's actually in a way worse than what you think it is it is in a lot of senses as well these bones are not in the position which they are found now the way which they work these things out is by comparing these fossils it, Assuming that they're the same shape and everything as the bones, they uh, then reconstruct the skeleton f from these uh, in a similar sort of pattern as to what we see in vertebrates, and that includes birds, descendants of uh, one group of dinosaurs, and uh, in that sense, dinosaurs are not extinct today because they uh, cover a large portion of the vertebrate species. From these fossils, due to the structure, due to the microscopic st structure being uh, preserved, we can figure things out like, uh, you mentioned quite a few things, uh, the rocking back on tails to impress females, you say all this is from bones, the fighting, different forms of behavior, low frequency mating calls, uh, the difference between male and female bones, the age of specimens. Now, a lot of these things, we, you use a lot of different bones, a lot of different fossils, and you, you look at them and find out the things which they have in common, which if you're talking about the same dinosaur species, it's the vast majority of it will be in common it's just the size difference and you can reconstruct the various parts you can uh, see through bone wear where ligaments and muscles attached and you can build a whole model of what the dinosaur would have looked like and uh, how it would have moved how strong uh, what pose what, what posture it would have had 
and uh, from this and from looking at modern animals you can uh, make a, an educated guess at the behaviour it had and also what kind of situations it got into uh, its environment. Uh, from certain samples you may find uh, say along the ribs uh, claw marks you can check those against uh, claws of known predators of that time and figure out which predator it was that would have uh, attacked them at the time. That's one way of finding out. Uh, they mentioned the Allosaurus attacking, although I thought that part was a bit lame because if the Allosaurus, Allosaurus was attacking it would have uh, attacked with a lot more viciousness than it did and it certainly wouldn't have hung around the head area for very long. It would have likely uh, come up over the back and uh, constricted the uh, neck arteries much like uh, modern cats do uh, today with lions and hunting antelope and stuff out in the bush in Africa and the, a lot of these things you can figure out by comparing the bones to modern animals and all, all of this requires an understanding of evolution without evolution you, you can't do anything with these bones with these fossils you can't do anything at all and it's a complete waste of time doing doing anything with it uh, I'm guessing that's that's my whole point with your form of creationism young earth creationism you can do nothing with these bones you find you, you can't uh, reconstruct what they do you, you can't figure out anything about them but the second you apply uh, the theory of evolution which to all intents and purposes is a fact then you you can start extrapolating data from what, what you do know into areas where you you're uncertain and say would this actually work and a lot of the times you, you may be wrong a lot of the times you may be right and you just have to work your way through that and that's what scientists do today to figure all these things out about dinosaurs. I'm guessing that's about as far as I can go with this video. So.